One of the things I'm hearing you say and, and the people watching this video I think is important is that if a man cheats, don't just pick up and walk out. Call a professional. Mm -hmm. Have some conversations before you leave because maybe you can fix it. We maybe it is Dr. fixable. Lana's books. Yes, yes, maybe it's fixable. And I think that that's one of the things. And, and, and though you're really hurt, you know, you need to have some friends around you to support you and cry a lot, do whatever you need to do, but then maybe try to fix it. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, the thing is I've noticed being divorced and, and having had two children, the struggle of being a single mom, the struggle of when holidays come, where do they go? And, and it's, an, it's a lifetime of struggles once you do divorce. And you don't realize that when you're going to get divorced. You, don't real, you think at the time, well, I, just, I, I can't take this anymore. You don't realize the lifetime that, that you have in front of you, the families that you lose, all of that. So at least try. Well, that's right, because one of the things I tell my clients is, look, you're going to have to get along with this person. You can divorce them, but if you've right got on. kids, right. this is an arrested life relationship. It really so is. So you might as well learn to get along with them now. You might as well learn how to not push their buttons and set them off. You want to learn how to bring the person closer to you. And if there's been an affair or some other kind of catastrophe, don't let your emotions lead. Use your brain. Step back, take some time, think about what do I want? Am I willing to blow up this whole family over this? Does he want this marriage? Does he want us to form a new relationship? Or is he just gone? And then take care of yourself. One of the biggest things is that you're in emotional shock when this happens. And you need to be with your friends. And don't go over and over and over it. Because if you get back together, and t I've been talking about what a dirty... <laughs> right. You don't want all your friends to be thinking that when you got back together. So be cautious. That's why it's a good idea to see a professional. You can say anything you want. It goes no further. And take care of yourself. Do your exercise. Make sure you're eating well. Write in your diary about what's right about you and what's right about your family and what's right about your marriage. The more positive things you think about, the better you're going to feel. And remember, as much as we may not like it, affairs are common throughout history. Every culture in the world, infidelity is a problem. Every culture tries to legislate against it. But it exists everywhere that there are men and women. Thank you, Dr. Lana. You're welcome.